Well, there was a witness who told police he saw the suspect going through someone else's mailbox and taking out their mail. So police tracked down the suspect and inside of her car, they found a bag of mail that wasn't addressed to her. And the doorbell rang and so I hobbled out here and there was a police officer at the gate and when police randomly show up to your door, that's kind of weird. But um, asked if anybody had been picking up our mail the last couple of days and uh, said there wasn't. A similar situation for a woman down the road. I'd rather get Christmas cards than, <laughs> than a knock on the door. But that wasn't the case. They said that they had found um, some little packages and mail of ours in uh, this person's car. Um, asked if we knew the person. I said I didn't and I had no idea why our mail would be in their vehicle. This is who police are talking about. 30-year-old Ashley Renee Sampier. She's the one officers say went through six different mailboxes down 21st Street from Indian School to Bethany Home. Well, they haven't mentioned anything about returning anything. I'll testify that I, I didn't give anybody permission to take my mail. I mean, unless she wants to pay my bill. Sampier is facing six felony burglary charges. Police also found out she'd been using bad checks to pay her rent, adding five additional felony fraud charges. Yeah, I think that that's pretty concerning um, as far as having our personal life looked into. Victims say they're worried about having their personal information out there, but think technology has them covered. We've had pretty good luck with our financial stuff. Whenever something slips, uh, we get contacted immediately. You get pinged through an app. As for the missing mail, the victims say they haven't heard back. I assume that it wasn't even offered, so I assume that right now it's in evidence. And they don't think any really great gifts are missing. Potentially, but I have a feeling that if it was really a great gift, then you probably know. And police say that Simpier did all of this between November 13th to December 23rd. Reporting live in Phoenix tonight, Joey Carrera, Arizona's Family.